Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedayatullah with another new video. In my previous video, I have shown you that how we will design and analyze analysis for a pile cap. And in this video, I will show you that how we will analyze and design for a pile cap but by using an easy method. Okay? So, let's start. And if you need her, you can watch our previous video. And also, if you think that this channel is helpful for you, press the like button and also leave a comment so that I can understand that it's really helpful for you. Your own comment and like is per me for our future work. And if you didn't subscribe to my channel, press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon for new update. So let's start. First of all, I'll open Start Foundation. And this software download link are given in description. You can also download that. So wait for some time. Now we'll click here new. Then we'll click here foundation toolkit okay by using foundation toolkit we'll done our work so in our previous video I have shown you by using general foundation method and now I will use foundation toolkit method then open after that click here project info and then click here create pile cap job okay so click here then from here job name you can give a name here then our design code select a design code which types of code you want to use then click here default unit type default unit type which types of unit you want to use is or english so i'm going to use english you can use is then code version which types of code you want to use from here i'm using 31805 then click here next after that we have to give here dead load live load or any other load so first of all uh, I'll give the load from column I mean uh, a vertical load on foundation so if I means uh, minus suppose minus 20 you know every video I have shown you that about that two types of load you, you can also found that load uh, like FX FZ mx mz okay so it's depend on your design condition so when you will analysis for a building then uh, when you will analysis a building for a wind load and earthquake load must be you'll found the value of fx and fz then you have to input here i'm just showing you that how will work by using that software okay i'm not doing any design or anything i'm just teaching you that how will do that understand then we'll click here and select our load type First of all, we'll give dead load. Then suppose we'll give minus 150. Uh, sorry, minus 150. You can take as usual any load. So minus 150 minus minus uh, the, our y direction are in y are in upward direction and our minus minus the load are working in downward direction. Okay, and moment mz suppose 25, and we have to select that load as a live load okay you can also give here seismic load wind load or any other load here as requirement but um, I think when you will analysis your structure then you will found load for your foundation so and also if you don't know about that how to analysis and design uh, by using any in types of uh, foundation analysis uh, sorry structural analysis design software then a full tutorial video for estate pro and estate for Estate Pro and also for uh, ETAPs are given in description. You can use that. So after that, click here Next. Then from here you have to select the design co combination. Then select the uh, code you want to use. I am going to use 705. Then press Next. After that, he here it's showing, uh, telling you pile design parameter. Pile design parameters. Okay. So you have to give the value here pile design parameters 
so for pile design parameter here strength of concrete what will be your strength of concrete you have to give here suppose my strength of concrete is 3 ksi unit weight of concrete uh, my unit weight of concrete suppose 150 pound per feet cube then yield distance 60 okay then uh, site clear cover what is the site clear cover site clear cover this is the site clear cover I mean from uh, our the in point of our longitudinal reinforcement to the I mean it's uh, represent the clear cover okay site clear cover so suppose it will be 3 inch I'll give you 3 inch mm, then bottom clear cover I'll give it 3 inch you can give anything as your requirement then um, pile in pile cap what is the meaning of pile in pile cap then means how much here here is here is that pile in pile cap ma pile cap means in which distance or in which dimension the pile will enter into pile cap okay so suppose uh, you can give here suppose it is um, 3 inch or 4 inch anything you record suppose it's 4 inch uh, you have to give it according to design okay according to record design you can give it anything so initial thickness what will be the initial thickness of your design so first of all I will consider on fit then if record then I will increase that then minimum bar size what will be the minimum bar size I will consider 3 okay maximum bar size uh, 18 the pedestal height what will be the ped pedestal height column or pedestal height what will be the pedestal height suppose uh, the pedestal height will be 2 feet 24 inch and here column or pedestal width uh, pedestal length it will be 24 feet sorry 24 inch and also 24 inch we are done then uh, we have to again click here next we have to click here next click here next then here you're showing that it's showing uh, pile arrangement predefined pile arrangement predefined so here first of all pile arrangement for support this is the one column so one then pile capacity this is the important thing you can change the unit here I will use keep okay so what is the pile capacity First of all, you will found your pile capacity from a foundation design engineer. So, our pile capacity, what is the pile capacity uh, at vertical? Suppose our vertical pile capacity will be 108 keep. Then our lateral, what will be the lateral? Suppose it will be 40. And our uplift, suppose it will be 20. It will be 20. So, it's totally depend on your soil capacity okay totally depend on your soil capacity you will found that value from your soil capacity after that you have to give here pile diameter what will be your pile diameter okay what will be your pile diameter then suppose our pile diameter will be uh, 15 inch our pile diameter will be 15 inch then what will be the spacing the minimum spacing will be one third of pile diameter one uh, sorry um, three times of pile diameter that means 45 and our its distance will be minimum it is it, its distance will be one times of pile diameter that means 15 inch then uh, after that I'll click here pile arrangement type so I'll click here calculate okay so uh, we're showing that here uh, default is considered 2 to pile here 2 to pile it have considered for that load so if I increase sorry decrease the load cancel if I decrease the load suppose uh, hundred then if we calculate so you are showing that not this time record four pile cap Oh, sorry four pile okay that that's time it's default record four pile if we again cancel and I'll give one five zero then I'll give it's showing three pile cap so uh, it will automatically calculate the requirement of pile sorry requirement of pile by calculating its load on it okay so now click here cancel give here 
180 as we have uh, different previously so calculate okay this is our pile you can also change that in the, that direction so I'll use that direction then click here okay so pile arrangement successfully assigned okay so we have done our that work now we'll go for our next work okay so click next after that pile arrangement parametric pile arrangement parametric okay so uh, who is a uh, pile arrangement for support one row spacing or column spacing row spacing or column spacing so from here you have to select the unit uh, force or length and so here you are seeing that the pile data is lateral what is the pile data lateral 40 then uplift then vertical it's default as we have provided then uh, dia 150 sorry 50 inch inch and it's 50 inch so you can change that in um, your I mean your pile section rectangular or circular rectangular or circular what you want so you want circular then okay click here circular then you can give a number of pile and uh, circular shape sorry circular spacing number of layer how to be the number of layer so I'm not give, giving anything here I'm just click here finish so when will give in finish so you are seeing that here is our pile here is our pile it's 15 inch it's uh, 15 inch diameter and 24 inch or pedestrian so as everything have done then we'll go for design if is it okay the design will be okay so our design is okay after that we'll check that our thickness is okay or not so here pile cap design calculation if you see here calculation is performed with one feet but the required final depth is 2.167 feet please redesign with 2.167 feet okay so we have to give the our uh, pile cap thickness 2.167 feet so again we'll go here edit then we'll go here design parameter and from here initial thickness that was 12 inch men on feet then mm, I'll give her uh, in our design we have seen that we record 2.167 so we'll give uh, 24 suppose we'll give 30 inch thickness of our pile cap then we'll click here edit then again we'll go for design so now we'll go down again now we're showing there have no warning they have no earning available so our design is done here is our design data you can also if you go down you can also print the calculation sheet you can print that and from here add of PDF so print it will be saved as a PDF file then cancel and again detail and schedule drawing so this is the detailed drawing or is record the one pile to another pile distances 3.667 feet 3.667 feet you can also change that uh, if you remember our one pile to another pile one pile to another pile spacing was 40 inch okay 40 inch so you can also change that according to requirement you can uh, increase that decrease that then uh, here you are seeing that our pile depth is 2.5 feet 2.5 feet it is a uh, more than our, our requirement this is more than our requirement so we can increase or decrease that like same way uh, sometime ago I have done that and this is our do detailed drawing here it's showing us you see here for uh, that direction so here the bottom reinforcement are number four uh, 
I mean uh, number 9 4 bar number 9 to 4 bar for top and for our that direction I mean for our direction uh, and X uh, sorry uh, Z direction it's bottom requirement number 2 9 bar and for top it's record number 2 9 bar sorry uh, number 9 2 bar and number 9 2 bar for top and bottom for both okay <coughs> so <coughs> in this way you can design and also you can save that here is our uh, other value also you can say uh, save that by clicking here save drawing as then click here then save the drawing as, as your desired folder so then you can uh, open it and AutoCAD file okay close that so in this way we can design our pile cap and in our previous video I have also shown you that how we will design for pile cap so and uh, this is the one at disadvantage we can found our schedule drawing for that uh, foundation toolkit mode okay so if you use general mode then you will found the schedule drawing so I think is it clear to you and if you think that you have any problem or if, if you have any uh, confusion about that so you can contact me and I will try to solve that so thank you thank you very much and if you're new here just press the subscribe button uh, to support me and also uh, press the like button and also leave a comment so that I can understand that is really helpful for you and your own like and or your own comment inspire me for a better work for that field so thank you thank you very much stay well stay connected till next video